Okay. Hi everyone. So, a few of you asked for a gauntlet guide for the new game Spellbreak. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. But I want to warn you before I go into the specific gauntlets, there's a few things that you should know. Um, when you go to play a game, you do have six classes that you can choose from. And these will slightly affect, well, not slightly, they will majorly affect your primary gauntlet. You have two gauntlets, you have your left hand and your right hand. Your right hand is the one that you can change out during games, and the left hand is based off of which class you choose, as you can see over here. So you got wind, fire, stone, toxic, ice, and lightning. Um, to try to keep it simple for you guys, I'm just going to choose a random class and show you what all of the right hand gauntlets do so that there's no extra confusion. So, I'm in the training area, and when you come here, when you guys try it out for yourself, there will be lots and lots of items. Um, not going to really do a guide on those, but these are your runes, these are your gauntlets over here. Another thing you should note is that there are different rarities for gauntlets, so you have common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary, with legendary being the best. Um, as you progressively go up in rarity, things like your mana cost and your damage will be affected, so your mana cost will go down and your damage will increase. I forgot to grab items. Items are the same concept. You have different rarities that improve your stats. Anyway, back to the dummy. Hello, I've- oh, shit. So every gauntlet that you pick up, you will have access to two additional skills. These two skills are called spells and sorceries. Spell is your auto attack, it'll be on your click. So in this case, it's your right click. And I have it as E and R. You can change these keys to anything you want to, but that's what mine are. So for Frost Gauntlet, your auto attack, which is your right click, is called Ice Lance. It's a down the sights attack. You can hold it to charge it. Aim and fire. There you go. That's simple. You can kind of rapid fire this. You, you know, just click it to launch as fast as you want. But there's no auto fire. There's no rapid fire without, you know, doing it on your own. Um, the second skill, or your sorcery, is called Flash Freeze. It's an AoE attack that slows your enemies down for 50% right before it freezes them. Lightning Gauntlet. Your auto attack is called Lightning Bolt. It's also rapid fire, but the rapid fire comes out more as a linear thing. You can also tap it, just like every other auto attack. But it's a little bit slower and I don't really recommend it. But this isn't a how to play guide, <laughs> so ignore that. Um, your sorcery is called Lightning Strike. It's an aimed AoE. So if you hold down your key that you've binded it to, you can move it around. You can see where you want to cast it. I'm going to cast it right here. Oof. So, it's an aimed AoE, it shocks your target with one lightning bolt. Next up, we have the fire gauntlet. The auto attack for this is called fireball. 
So fireball explodes on contact of enemies and allies, actually. And when you cast it on the floor, it leaves this little puddle of fire. One thing I do want to mention, and I should have mentioned before, is that friendly fire is a thing in this game. Uh, everything gets hit by your attacks. You get hit by your attacks, your allies get hit, your enemies get hit, you know, if you could aim at them. I can't. Um, but for example, there you go. That, that little blue effect you see is my shield being uh, hit. Eventually when your shield is gone, it will start taking your HP, but that's for another video. The sorcery skill for Flame Gauntlet is called Flame Wall. I'm sure you guys have seen this in the last video I've done where I called it a firewall. Same thing, basically. Um, you can see that it kind of wraps around and hugs the terrain that it glides over. Pretty useful for when you're trying to fight. Like, it, it wouldn't just put it all at one, um, what you call it, one spot in a line. It, it, it spreads. Oh shit, I missed! Anyway, um, a flame wall, when it actually lands, applies a DOT called Ignite. Um, if you don't know what DOT is, it means damage over time. So let's try to actually aim it on her this time and I'll show you what I mean. You see how it's just ticking on her? You see damage. There you go. DOT. Speaking of DOT, next up is the Toxic Gauntlet. Now this one, oh, this one's pretty OP. The auto attack is called Toxic Spray. It kind of streams out in a little fan, as you can see, right here. There you go. The further you aim, the more it fans out. The sorcery is called Toxic Cloud. Basically, it is a flying projectile that expands on impact and it also causes a DOT. By expand, I mean it turns into this giant cloud and it starts taking away at the damage. Or at the enemy. Whoops. I'm trying very hard to be semi-professional about this, but it's me. You already know I can't. Next up, we have the Stone Gauntlet. So, your auto attack... You actually have to be on the ground in order for it to cast. It's a linear attack, it goes straight through. Um, but you can't cast it in the air like your other skills. It will cast when you land, but it won't cast mid-air unlike other skills. So keep that in mind. So the sorcery for Stone Gauntlet is called Boulder Fall. Kind of like the Toxic Gauntlet, you shoot this projectile out and it explodes on impact. Let me see if I could aim. I can't, I can't, I can't, oh, I... Oop. Holy shit, I did it. Yeah, okay. Last up is the Wind Gauntlet. Now. You may notice that I have changed classes. I was wind before, now I'm fire. This is because when you're certain classes, your left hand gauntlet would actually do different things. There's levels in this game, and in addition to that, your classes kind of affect what your skills do. But for this video, we're just going to go over what the right hand gauntlet uses. So for your Wind Gauntlet, your spell is called Wind Shear. It's a very fast rapid fire auto attack, and I really really like it. Cause look at me, whoosh. Um, yeah. 
As for your sorcery, it is called Tornado. Now, you gotta be careful with this one. It sucks everything in. <laughs> It sucks in you, it sucks in allies, it sucks in enemies. It, it's not gonna really suck in this, um... Dummy, I guess. I'm sorry for calling you names. It's not gonna really suck in the dummy because it's supposed to be stationary. It's, it's not gonna move from there. So, yeah. Okay, before you guys go, there's a few things I want to mention. Um... This game relies very heavily on combinations of your skills. So let's say for example, I'm a fire subclass. Oops, I'm stuck. Let's say I'm a fire subclass and you know, I'm throwing my skills. You see that fire over there? Whoosh! Classes and elements and spells and all of that, they all interact. So for example, I go like this, and I go like that, and boom, it's now a fire tornado instead of a regular tornado. That is very crazy and very OP. And to explain all of the combinations would just take too long and it might confuse you. So I'm gonna leave that out of this, but I will mention it so that you kind of know what's up w before you head into the game. I definitely recommend you trying the training. You know, you have this whole map to run around, see how to interact, see how to move, um, try out the items. Here, let me let me go back and show you the items. There's a lot of items in this game, and all of them are important to learn at least the basics of. So when you spawn into the training area, you will see a bunch of things on the ground. Try not to get too excited. Um, like I mentioned to you before, you're going to spawn somewhere here. First thing you see are runes. These are the little thingies that go in the middle of your screen. They're your shift. They do things like, you know, uh, teleports, which I can't do because cooldowns, oh my lord. Um, you have your gauntlets over here. You have your gear over here. Make sure to pick these up before you go trying skills out. I mean, it does help that you're able to move and stuff and kind of feel like a full strength of what you're doing. Um, so yeah. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I will try my best. This is still new to me. Um, there are a few other guides, there are lots of guides on, uh, what's meta, what's, you know, best class, best combination, all of that. I'm not really that type of person, I just, you know, play to have fun. But if you guys are interested in knowing about that stuff, I could try to help as much as possible. But, yeah, definitely give this game a try, let me know. If this helped, let me know if you would like to see more of this. Okay, bye.